Hey guys, I'm Anna, and today I'm going to show you how to fix DirecTV app error code 201. So first of all, you need to make sure you're connected to a strong internet connection. Open up Safari browser on your mobile device and then search for speed test right over here. Here on this page, you need to tap on run speed test. The minimum speed required for DirecTV app is usually 2 to 3 Mbps. So if it's anywhere near or above this number, that's fast enough. If your internet speed appears to be unreasonably low, then you may need to contact your internet service provider for help. This should fix the issue, but if it doesn't, then you need to make sure you're running the latest version of the app. Open up App Store on your device, and then tap on this search icon in the bottom right corner. Then search for the DirecTV app. And if you see this update button right next to the app name, simply tap on it to make sure you're running the latest version of the app. But if you still encounter this issue, then you need to clear App Cache. Go to your device settings and then scroll all the way down to General and tap on it. Then tap on iPhone Storage. From here, search for the DirecTV app and then tap on it. Once you're on this screen, you need to tap on Offload app. Tap again to confirm. It'll take a bit for processing and then a reinstall button will show up. Simply tap on it to reinstall the app. This should fix the issue, but if it doesn't, then you need to completely reinstall the app. Follow the on-screen instructions to navigate all the way to the app page. Once you're on this screen, tap on Delete App to uninstall the app from your device. Once uninstalled, you need to open up App Store and then search for the DirecTV app right over here in the search bar, and then click on this Get button to install it back on your device. Well, that's how you fix DirecTV app error code 201. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, Make sure you give it a thumbs up to see more videos like this and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one.